first, uh, there is a, um, uh, a post by Cheyenne Bright, who's a nurse at Washington Regional Medical Center, and she gave me permission to uh, use this, but it is an important message, and it is to the people who think COVID isn't real or isn't serious, I just want to let you know it is very real and very serious. I spent the day comforting my dying patient so they would know they weren't alone. This patient who is perfectly fine six days ago, uh, this patient who didn't have underlying conditions, this patient who is now not perfectly fine. Hi, I'm Cheyenne Bright. I am a cardiology nurse at Washington Regional, but I am currently working on the COVID step-down unit. I will be honest with you, when I first heard about COVID, I was kind of on the bandwagon of it is like the flu. That's what I heard from a lot of people. But it wasn't until I worked the unit that I fully understood how awful this virus is and how devastating it can be to not just one person, but in two entire families. I was just talking with this patient and they were healthy. They like to go dancing. They like to go on walks. They spent time with family and friends. And now they're trapped in a hospital. I left for two days. I was off for Saturday and Sunday and I come back Monday and this patient had declined majorly. We set up FaceTime calls with family that night to make sure they could all talk to them before we did what we do to make them comfortable. I went home that night and I was just like astounded. I was like, that that's not the patient that I had. This person walked in here four days ago. This person was dancing before they closed centers for them to go dancing playing with grandkids, running around. And it's just, at that time, I learned how devastating and destructive this virus can be. I thought I would expect to see patients die. I work in a hospital, I work with very sick people. Um, I didn't expect to sit over someone and say, I'm sorry, we couldn't help you because we're in the middle of a pandemic and we have no cure for this right now. Like, I never thought I would say that, but I spent the day telling her that, so. They had a family member who had passed from COVID and while they were here, I found out they had another family member in another hospital who was being treated for the same before my patient passed, um, I learned that their other family member had passed. So they had lost not one, but two, and now a third. This, this poor family is having to deal with three deaths in two weeks, and I can't imagine. So I'm still right now trying to understand why it is taking so many people um, I wish I knew, I wish I knew more about it, but we don't. We need to be more responsible. Why can't we as a community do the little things to help everybody else? The ones that are more susceptible to it. I think the community needs to open their eyes and realize it's not just old people or people who have had cancer or autoimmune, autoimmune diseases or diabetes, it's anybody. Anybody can get it, old, young, healthy or not.